Namaste. Welcome to the 13th session of our course Yoga and Positive Psychology for Managing Career and Life. Today I am going to start session by showing a large huge flow diagram. Not to scare you because that diagram has many classification, words, sub classifications. So, the idea is not to scare you with the concepts, but to convey to you that lot of those things are already being discussed, already being covered and how we are going to move ahead from there. So, this is the diagram and in the previous session we talked about this sadhana chatushtaya, the four fold spiritual practice and out of the four fold spiritual practice described in the tattva bodh of uh, Sri Adi Sankracharya, we discussed uh, Shat Sampatti, we also discussed Abhyas and Vairagya. In Shat Sampatti, we discussed uh, Sham, Dham, Uparati, Titiksha, Shraddha, uh, Samadhan, we have already discussed that. In the uh, uh, Dham, we discussed about mind, uh, mind can be in the Chikta, Vikshipta, Mood ekagra and niruddha state. In our previous session, we did not discuss mood deliberately because uh, if we have some idea about the chipta and vikshipta, we can now understand the idea of mood that is condition of mind including the tendencies that cause laziness uh, and idleness. So, that is the mood state, we, we discussed all other four states. We have already discussed the Vairagya and the Abhyas, the two essential things for Sham or two most important things to surpass the obstacles uh, on the way of attaining well-being and managing our self and career. We briefly touched upon in one session the eight appendages or eight Angas of Yoga, Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar, Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. You will be hearing these words more often now and afterward uh, we will discuss the Niyamas, the five Niyamas and five Yamas. Yamas and Niyamas are considered to be do's and don'ts, they are more than that, that is what we are going to discuss. And uh, uh, this excellent flow diagram is uh, uh, taken from this website. Uh, you can have a look at that website. They give a comprehensive uh, teaching and learning process. So, they, they give uh, excellent inputs on the yoga. Today's session is focused on interventions for managing self and career. Interventions meaning what we can do about. Interventions means something is going on and you want to influence it in a positive way what we can do about it, that is the intervention. So, to understand the uh, interventions, we can look at two concepts which we have touched upon briefly earlier and now we are going to build on that. These realms are our layers of self, those are Annamaya Kosh, Vijnanamaya Kosh, Manomaya Kosh, Pranamaya Kosh and Anandamaya Kosh. Human self is understood to be like different layers and those layers are physical sheath which is called Annamaya Kosh, uh, Pranamaya Kosh which is sheath of vitality which gives energy to all other Koshas, uh, Manomaya Kosh that is mental sheath mostly related to emotions. Vijnanamaya Kosh, which is the sheath of wisdom or sheath of internalized knowledge, sheath of recognition of the speciality, the diversity of the manifestations of nature. And when all four are aligned, we experience bliss. So, that means it is always there if we 
manage all four koshas well, anandamaya, anandamaya kosh occurs, anandamaya kosh is experienced. We are going to look at interventions derived from eight angas of Ashtanga yoga or also called Raj yoga. These eight angas we have enumerated in the previous slide, we are going to have more detailed discussion in the uh, in the modern times even more refined classification was given by uh, Sri Aurobindo. So, Sri Aurobindo explained the human existence or consciousness per se at five levels. Uh, Satchidanand, supramental, that supramental is reflected in the common uh, human being in the form of mental, vital and physical. So, physical aspect of self is uh, physical consciousness, physical body. Physical body is largely subconscious or sometime unconscious, most of the time we are unconscious, most of, most of the time it works in a programmatic way. Uh, so, in that way it is we are unconscious of what is happening in the liver or kidney or most of the organs, we get general experience of uh, how we feel through our uh, neurotransmitters and neuro cells uh, and physical consciousness. So, physical consciousness is more mechanical and repetitive in character, it is limited to uh, body needs, then comes the vital aspects. In the vital aspects, there are emotional vital, central vital and lower vital. These are correlated with the pranamaya kosh and manomaya kosh. Uh, so, emotional vital as the name suggests, it is about certain emotions, love, joy, uh, sorrow, hatred and uh, the whole gamut of emotions. There is a central vital, the central vital includes a stronger vital longings and reaction such as ambition, pride, fear of uh, love for fame, attraction, repulsions, desires passions for various kinds. So, these are the drivers uh, of other vital that is why it is called central vital and then there is there are lower vitals which occupied with the small desires and feelings such as desire for food, uh, desire for sex, uh, small likings and dislikings, small quarrels, love, praise, anger, at blame etcetera. So, we can understand that our personality can be expressed in the form of physical as well as vital. We can also look at from this diagram that where our consciousness most of the time harbors. Are we predominantly driven by central vital or our individual consciousness is uh, predominantly occupied in the lower vital or emotional vital? Beyond the vital level, uh, Sri Aurobindo say is the state which is called mental. It this also has three uh, sub states, uh, these are thinking mind, dynamic mind and externalizing mind. Thinking mind is concerned with ideas and knowledge, that is where the reasoning and perception take place. So, this is about the ideas related to infinity, eternity, unity, identity, self contradictions and this considers and find out the value of things. So, this is this mind is a discretionary mind that is where the predominantly intellect works and the job of intellect is to assign value to find out value of things. Dynamic mind is concerned with putting out of the mental forces for realization of the ideas. So, a dynamic mind drives, dynamic mind directs the vital and physical for action and externalizing mind is more advanced form of dynamic mind which is concerned with expression of ideas and knowledge and mental forces in life by more sophisticated actions. So, your planning, organizing, directing, uh, interacting with people, uh, building plans, envisioning, these all are the functions of externalizing mind 
that is primarily responsible for creating something out in the world. Preparation at the physical level is required by all of us. Similarly, we can nurture and manage the vital aspect. Managing self means managing physicality and also managing vital aspect. Those are emotional or central vital or lower vital. These are also the bedrock at which our mental level functions. This, in, this is influenced by mental level and this in turn influences the mental level. So, there is a virtuous or vicious whatever cycle operates amongst these levels. So, the good thing is that we have that faculty in us which is a witness, which is, a, which is the master of all this, which can prepare vital and physical. Before going for an important match, people not only prepare their body, they also prepare their mind. They also inculcate specific types of emotions which are necessary to perform best in that situation. It also has its own power, not that everything has to be consciously at the mental level. We can use the mental level to prepare the vital and physical level. So, managing self means using mental level for preparing vital and physical level to accomplish whatever we wish to accomplish. It also means that taking care of our physical and vital so that our mental can also be healthy and we are able to conceive right ideas. We can use our intellect in the most efficient way, make best judgment in the situations and able to envision and then create whatever we wish to create in this life and in this career.